What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to the $10,000 SBA EIDL stimulus update for Friday, June the 19th, 2020. Please do me a huge favor, give this video a thumbs up, hashtag EIDL with your comments below. And if you're new to this channel, we do ask that you subscribe and hit that bell. All right, I'm in right field at the 275 foot mark of this gorgeous, massive facility where the kids will be playing ball here in a couple of hours. I wanted to get out here when no one was around and give you guys an unreal update. You have to, have to, have to like this and share it on your wall and follow my instructions to a T in the next 24 to 48 hours. This was an epic week. This channel, which is only two months old, thanks to your help, has generated in excess of 100,000 views. Our last video, entitled, I Want My $10,000 SBA EIDL Grant, has been seen almost 14,000 times in the last two days and generated over 3,000 likes and comments, thanks to every one of you who are watching. And then of course, that was preceded by videos to Ms. Javita Carranza, head of the SBA, Senators Rubio and Cruz, followed by, of course, President Donald J. Trump. Talk about pressure packed. There was no teleprompter, as some of you accuse me of. There's no notes. This is all one take, straight from the heart. It's being well received. And I'd also like to welcome almost 1,000 senators, congressmen, governors, radio and television stations who have been kind enough to tune in this week. I have heard from almost 20 of you. Some of the names are unbelievable. I'd like to give a shout out to one of my senators in particular, Senator Kelly Loeffler. Her staff, ladies and gentlemen, got back to me in five minutes. Full disclosure, I am in reconsideration right now as of June 10th for more money on my EIDL loan. The reason for that is simple. Ms. Carranza, head of the SBA, made it known that we could use six months, not three months, as a simple formula for the EIDL loan. So I asked for more money almost 10 days ago. I've heard nothing, as you can expect, but I've made both of my senators, as well as anyone else who's willing to listen, and again, almost 1,000 major centers of influence, that I don't want any games. Just because I'm running a channel that's being seen by so many, don't be messing around with my reconsideration. And more importantly, I want you to start honoring the intent and the law known as the CARES Act is written, Ms. Carranza and the SBA, because I got news for everybody. The improvements in the last week are startling. The SBA is going a lot faster than before. Folks who entered the portal that was shut down to everything but agriculture on Monday night, they're getting loans and grants within 72 hours or less. They applied Monday night and by Wednesday morning, the money was there. Some are getting the grants first, some are getting the loans first, which indicates there's obviously two different departments in, in charge of each the loan as well as the grant, but it's unbelievably spectacular that the new folks who need the help are being treated with th such speed and efficiency. Now to all those who are stuck in the vortex of March the 30, 31st or the early parts of April, I hear you. Many of you, over $15 million, in fact, on this channel, have been funded in the last week. There are so many hardworking men and women at the SBA who are working their rear ends off now that they're on the hot seat to get you the grant money as well as the loan as quickly as possible. However, the head of the SBA, Ms. Carranza, still continues to this day to walk away to dishonor or dare I say, even violate the law and its intent known as the CARES Act. But boy, oh boy, have you seen the GAO, the Government Accountability Office, which is a major nonpartisan watchdog group, sent the nastiest letter I've ever seen in the last three months to Ms. Carranza and the SBA. They quote, accuse her of quote, violating the law. There's no mixing up of the language. It is a, you are going to comply with the law that you are violating or else, and they've given her until June 29th, 10 days from today, to grant interviews to her upper staff and to provide all sorts of documents, many of the same documents that Senator Rubio, who chairmans the Committee for Small Business in the Senate, asked for on June the 3rd. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what you need to do right now. 
in the pinned comment, there'll be a website called contactsenators.com. You need to email and call your senator with your case number, 33, 34, 36, et cetera. Tell them if you're in reconsideration, why you're in reconsideration and how you expect to be treated fairly. They will send you what's called a privacy release form. That's basically power of attorney for them to talk to the SBA on your behalf. I have seen with my own two eyes in the last 72 hours, people get loans like that. Stuck in the queue for eight weeks, if not longer. Their senators get involved. There's a private line of communication that includes an email. I'm not gonna share it publicly. Others have, and loans and even grants are getting paid out as soon as the senators get involved. So you need to call and email your state senators. There's two. Tell them your situation. If you're in, in reconsideration and you've been denied, probably because of a computer error, state so. I'll do a video in the next couple of days on how to speak to reconsideration verbatim if you've been denied. But I can promise you, given all the heat that this channel and others have brought in the last week to 10 days, combined with getting your state senators involved, will get you the funds with respect to the grant as well as the loan as quickly as possible. Let me give a quick shout out. Once again, like this video, share it on the wall. We couldn't do this alone. There have been other channels and we're all different, thank God, that have been fighting on your behalf nonstop for two or three months. LA late, the Jovita late, I mean, the scarf, is that funny shit or what? That guy's unbelievable. You've got Rod Squad, where's he getting all those emails and phone numbers? You've got Dan, salt of the earth Dan over at I Allegedly. You've got Aubrey uh, Janik, I hope I pronounced your name right, just blown it up on behalf of the ladies. You've got Andrew Cartwright, meet Kevin, Max Maher, some of the bigger channels, and of course, Culture Estate, one of the smoothest dudes on the planet. All of us are pushing hard for one thing. And that's to get the SBA to honor the intent and the law known as the CARES Act as written. Ms. Carranza, I don't wanna see you fired. This June 29 deadline is gonna be here before you know it. It's very clear to me that if you don't start honoring the law, handing over the documents with respect to EIDL and the PPT, and if you don't start giving the federal authorities and the watchdog agencies access to your staff in the form of interviews, you've got major problems. You admitted last June the 10th that the SBA has $270 billion of unspent EIDL, $130 billion of unspent PPP. You no longer have the excuse that you were worried about running out of money. And now that we find out that you have secretly been allowing loans over 150,000 to go out to larger corporations, you're in major legal jeopardy. You could be a hero tomorrow, apologize, say you were overwhelmed. You're gonna process everyone in the queue. You're gonna start taking care of small businesses with 10 employees or less that are minority owned. And if you've been in trouble with the law for more than a year, you're gonna be forgiven and get the help that you rightly deserve. Miss Carranza, you're out of time. Every Senator in this nation is getting thousands of small business owners to sign a privacy release form. They're going to be acting on behalf of thousands and perhaps millions of small business owners in this country. Combined with the demands from over 50 senators and congressmen and women, and now the GAO, the General Accountability Office, you have no more leg to stand on. All we ask in peace is that you honor the intent and the law known as the CARES Act is written. You grant $10,000 in full to every legitimate small business owner and sole proprietor in this country. Both those that have been stuck in the queue for weeks, if not months, as well as the new folks who are coming in as we speak. You get rid of publicly the $150,000 limit on the EIDL loan. You process everyone, almost 100,000 that's in the queue for reconsideration, including myself, fairly and quickly. And last but not least, when you do round two, as was discussed in last week's Senate hearing, you give folks with 10 employees or less that are minority owned or have been in trouble with the law, preferential treatment. You do that, Ms. Carranza, and all this goes away. You could be a hero by this time next week. 
Just do the right thing. Honor the intent and the law known as the CARES Act is written and all shall be forgiven. I want to thank everyone who's watching and have a fantastic weekend.